The Ashes, Australia on top thanks to superb bowling and brilliant fielding despite late England fight back ruthless bowling and some brilliant catching has seen Australia maintain its advantage over England on day three of the second Ashes test in Adelaide, with the tourists finishing the day 267 runs behind. Australia went to stumps on 4.53 with Peter Handscombe, 3 not out, and the night watchman Nathan Lyon, 2 not out, at the crease after enduring a scintillating spell of swing bowling from James Anderson, 2.16, which claimed the wickets of Cameron Bancroft, 4, and Desmond Kawaja, 20. Chris Wokes, 2.13, backed him up with the vital wickets of David Warner, 14, and Steve Smith, 6. Laid on to cap off a fine last session for England. Despite Australia's first innings lead of 215 and the altered conditions of day night cricket, Smith decided against enforcing the follow on when England were dismissed for 227 in reply to Australia's total of 8,442 declared. Whether that was the right call or not, the hosts are still reasonably well positioned to take a daunting 2 0 lead in the five Test Ashes series though Smith's wicket in particular will give England more than a glimmer of hope of staying in the game. All of Australia's top-line bowlers contributed to England's first innings demise, with Lyon and Stark the standouts with four and three wickets respectively. England began the day on 1.29 and James Vince fell early to an inside edge off Hazelwood, sharply taken down the leg side by Tim Payne. That brought together the two best batsmen and leaders of the side, Joe Root and Alistair Cook, but the partnership would not last long enough to have Australia genuinely worried. Cummins had Root edging to Bancroft in the cordon and Lyon took care of Cook, who got a thick edge to a gleeful Smith at first slip. The next three wickets were all caught and bowled, the first two of which were both brilliant in their own way. Lyons live pounds to snare Moeen Ali with his left hand for 25 will be used by the TV broadcaster to spruik fried chicken for years to come, while Stark's juggled catch to dismiss Persto, 21, required incredible reflexes and athleticism. Tailenders Wokes, 36, and Overton put together England's best partnership of the innings playing with a more fearless attitude than the higher-ups in the order and teaming up for 66 runs, before Woke sent one straight up in the air off Stark's bowling, and the speedster took a much simpler C and B. Overton, batting at number 9 and on debut, finished undefeated on 41 as his side's top scorer. Lyon ended up with figures of 460 and is now the leading wicket-taker in the world this year with 55 notches on his belt. With two full days to play, Australia has the time to build on its lead on Tuesday afternoon before unleashing its in-form attack on the English batsmen again, again.